Yeah, when I when we first I first started gardening here, there was no soil. It had all been taken up by the spruce and the rhododendron, and, and oh, just, it was very very unhappy the soil. Mm -hmm. um, what there was of it, uh, very very acid. And so this is, you know, 12 years of building soil, adding organic matter, encouraging microbes, um, soil organisms, feeding them. So what I do is just go around feeding, feeding beasties, feeding <laughs> horse beasties, feeding chickens and other animals that just then contribute to the organic matter. They convert what I bring in into something that's more usable by the plants. You spoke about lime the other day as well with um, acidic. So how does yeah. that work? Um, lucky here in that we have an organic, um, it's not organic, <laughs> we're lucky here and we have a limestone quarry at Alapool and so I can go up, take the trailer up and get a, a load of ground limestone which is, you know, it's, it's slow release and I just put that everywhere. I'm not really very picky about where it goes because I know it all kind of washes in and the ground is so acid here that you couldn't put on too much. And that helps just bring things up into balance. And because it's a just local stone, there's a lot of mineral in there as well. And so it's about remineralizing the soil because ever since the last ice age, we've lost, you know, we've had 10,000 years of, of minerals washing out of the soil, especially when after forest cover is removed. And we don't have those tree roots just bringing mineral up from the, from the ground. So a lot of the, the plantings I've done here are uh, by dynamic accumulators. They're like nettles and comfrey and, and plants that put their roots out into the ground and bring up that mineral. 